I sit and wonder about the times that it made sense But nowadays I don't worry about what's past tense My younger days I used to hang around with mad friends If we just fell out, I don't really know what happened A lot of people come around and keep you stagnant Distraction, so yeah, don't show them no compassion We was really out here grinding, really rapping Stacking them Franklins, them Grants and them Jacksons Imagine if we would've never chased our passion We probably would've never knew what happened they was all just talk, we showed action. Once they leave, don't you let them back in. No. Just pack. Benjamin are heading to the pond. We're done. We got the boat ready. I think these fish are gonna be close spawn for the most part. I think our spawn period's done. So we're gonna check out some deeper stuff and kind of roll around and see if we can pick up on a pattern. I don't know what's gonna happen. We got the motor all done. My tilt and trim went out, Ben. So like this deal, right? You see that cylinder right there? Mm hmm There's hydraulic fluid leaking everywhere from there. The other day, like I was on, I was on my boat fishing, and I had to come back here to take a piss, and I looked down, and dude, it looked like gasoline was in the water, like everywhere. <laughs> like, oh shit, that's not good. All right, we put the GoPro in here. Yep. Dude, we're freaking ready. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, we're good. Hey, your rod. Seatbelts, folks. Yeah. So today might be a little bit of a learning day because they're going to be ultra I like that bite they're going to be ultra postponed today man so I don't know what's going to transpire of this if we're going to have good luck or bad luck but this is what I do know we're going to throw fighter flies throw some swim baits some spy baits and really slow work that jerk bait but I am assuming, I, I gotta believe that these fish started to move out just a little bit. And I think that some of the areas that I got right here are gonna pay out for us. So we're gonna, we're gonna stay on one side of the lake. Yeah, we're gonna stay on one side of the lake. We're gonna work some areas that I got. Probably work them a couple times. Let's see if we can get bit. She don't look bad. It's gonna be an easy day. It'd probably be a good idea if we put the plug in. and you probably should wear it anytime you go out, but uh, not only for yourself, but for your passengers, for sure. Probably wear one because you can hook up this kill switch. And I'm running a Blue Storm. This is a Blue Storm foam. And I also have the app, like a couple Atmos 40s that I let clients run. And some people are just more comfortable with, with foam because they don't have to depend on it deploying. And it always is gonna work no matter what. For me, it doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll run either or. Both of them are pretty comfortable. This one is our foam one, and it is awesome. I mean, we got pockets on it for storage. Usually, I don't know if I took it out already or not, but so I keep a whistle in here just in case I dump or something happens. Got a whistle. And in this one, I don't have it, but in my other Atmos, I keep a knife on me too, just in case I do got to cut it off or something happens worst case scenario type stuff but I always try to keep stuff in here safety stuff and that's super important um, and then obviously you know you run your throw cushions and all that stuff that the DNR wants you to run but uh, 
Yeah, life jackets are important, man, and they definitely save your life. All right, we're gonna bust it over to the first area for today. Try more than one bait. It is shallow in here, though. Those might be. Now I'm afraid that they're a walleye because I didn't get a bit on that first cast. I'm a little paranoid now. It's like my biggest fear. Maybe they're not my friends today, but usually. I'm out there, my friends, man. Shit. Jesus Christ, here. Don't you ever cut it. There is like seven with him. Look at this dude. See that other dot by him? He's okay. Oh. Ooh. I get extremely frustrated out here. 
when they start to do this deal where they just get kind of tough to catch. And, and there's no rhyme or reason for it, but I think what happened, we missed the feeding window today big time. And even though we didn't catch a lot of fish, it definitely is like a good lesson to be learned. One of my buddies was out here earlier today. I think I want to say he caught like 30 some and only two were under four pounds. We've been targeting some shallower boulders in that eight to 10 foot range and we just have been coming up short. And the ones that we did, we stopped on a few boulders and some of them were loaded and they were loaded with a bunch of two pounders. Not even, they were like one pounders. It was really frustrating to figure it out to say the least. We're still gonna show you guys the vid because it isn't always like, I, I was telling Ben, when I was coming out here for like the last month, you couldn't miss. Meaning that like most nights you're hitting a home run. You're catching over 22 pounds and it was it's relatively easy. And now it's just like, where are they? So struggled a little bit today. It, again, you know, it's part of the game. You kind of learn as you go. Oh, <laughs> so this has been the story today is this kind of the sign to move on but i think that the boulders that we were on just weren't the right ones and we needed to get on the right ones otherwise though is the wind picked up when we got out here so when we first got out here it was relatively calm wasn't it when we first got out here it was relatively calm and that wind picked up and it kind of just shut the bite down what little what little that we could get to go it just kind of shut it down and we really struggled and it just didn't work out I, this year i've only had a couple days where i actually did like pretty good at night it's been tough today and the, what was it and dude it just wasn't that great we only caught eight fish and they weren't hugging the boulders like we thought they would be we only caught eight fish they were some of them were pretty good we came pretty close to 20 pounds and now she's gonna start to get kind of tough in the next week or from now for like probably the next week or two until they get out on that offshore stuff and they start feeding again so we threw a ned for the most part today i caught one on a jerk bait and it was kind of a fluke i didn't lock it in my hands or anything but i could kind of tell that that fish that bit that bait he definitely bit it because of the movement of it, it like it had none at all it was just kind of linear moving straight in the line so god damn what do you do what do you do it's like days like this makes a guy say i'm gonna sell all my fishing when i get home and sell my boat so my wife doesn't hate me anymore and then when you wake up in the morning <laughs> when you wake up in the morning you just want you want to go and do it again oh my cookies are done dude thing he's so cute he's giving to my knees today they didn't and it was sad very sad i think that every single time that i came out here for the past month month and a half it's been 20 20 to 25 pounds every single time the million dollar questions why like why why do they do that to us? Or they just hate us. I just got your voicemail. You're not stuck out there, are you? And then he texted me back and he said, I just re-listened to it. He said that you sucked out there. I still wouldn't want to do anything else. and you're like, I'd never want to do anything else. Love-hate relationships these days. Would you? <laughs> Here, I'll, I don't, I don't think, I'll give you a ride. I don't think anyone would. <laughs> <laughs> right? So you let the girl, so you and your girlfriend are going on a date. You, you walk to her door, right? You open up the door for her. You purposely lock your driver's side door. You know why? If she leans over and she unlocks it for you, if she doesn't, all right. Now you just remember that. All so right. when you actually, 
Your girlfriend gives you rides. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. For when you bring her around, if it's the same one, who knows? You might have, you might have seven girlfriends by the time you get Something that they feel sh cause all I know was speaking on some shit I really deal with like how I f and in the morning didn't feel sh Oh my god <laughs> Six or seventeen so far. 